this is everything that I got at Aldi today. I said it right, Aldi, A-L-D-I. There's no S at the end, Hope. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, so Aldi did not have a lot of, have any clearance meat today. So um, going on a Saturday was a better day, but that's okay. So here's everything that I got. I got Andy some of the thin sliced sirloin steaks that he likes. Um, also some of the stew meat. He kind of likes that too. Just kind of switching up, different way of eating the same thing, right? I got four pounds of their regular bacon. Um, I've got some almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. Also, this is funny. Here's the half and half. So look at the top of it. It is completely different packaging now up at the top. For a while there, I was saying that we were getting the organic ones that look like old milk jars because it's very hard to open the old packages. It was a little bit closer to this, but you can see that it is flattened out now. They've changed it. They must be watching my videos. Must be. Because <laughs> they saw we would complain about that. So we now don't have to get the uh, milk jug looking ones those were organic and i don't know maybe that was better for us i don't know but as far as money's concerned it's probably a good 75 cent difference but that one there still has it on the side yeah this is almond milk though maybe it, i don't recall getting into that one having a hard time maybe it's a smaller because this is a bigger package the almond milk um then i got some of the thick cut bacon which if you know you know thick cut bacon is for the carnivore mac and cheese, we're gonna be making that this week. It's been a few weeks since we've had it. I feel like, man, we need to have it. Um, I got the chicken breast tenderloins. They were on sale. It was like $3.99 a pound. I don't know if that's good or not, but they had like a red ticket, like it's marked down. So I was like, okay, let me get some. Uh, I'm gonna probably make some, you know, look, little chicken tenders or something breaded. Those are so good. Got some provolone cheese and some, cheddar cheese sliced got some of the smoked gouda some mozzarella cheese and this is already sliced which i'm excited about got some burgers because we're down to like maybe two left so just good to have that in the freezer um, mozzarella cheese i got for something i'm making this week so stay tuned i'm very excited about it just got these cheese fries the halloumi style cheese fries just thought maybe as a side dish one day this week for you know when we're eating something like a burger maybe or some steaks, not me, but you know. Got some of the shrimp, the Argentine red shrimp for the carnivore mac and cheese. And then got a dozen of the pasture raised eggs. So that is everything that I got at Aldi. I'm surprised I didn't get more honestly, but I need some veggies and stuff, but at Aldi you have to buy them in bulk and I really don't use that much so at a time. So I thought I would just go ahead and uh, get the rest of the stuff at Publix. So next I'll show you what I'm getting at Publix and Winn-Dixie. Okay, so here is some of the stuff I got from Publix and then over on the counter I've got more stuff and then I have a little bit from Winn-Dixie because their meat deals were great today. So let's get into it real quick. I find that I can buy pork belly at um, Publix during the weekdays way better. Today is Friday and I got three packs here. So uh, that is just delicious. I love it as like my popcorn snack. I've shown it a few times, but this literally, when you chop it up into really small, small, tiny, not bite-sized, tiny little pieces, like almost crumbs, and you just cook it in a skillet until the desired consistency that you like. I like crunchy because it reminds me of popcorn. You salt it and season it, drain it. Oh my gosh, it's the best popcorn replacement ever. Um, I got some tomatoes, got a couple of cans of Rotel. I needed two, but they were buy one, get one free also. So that was cool. I opted for the fire roasted. I needed a can of tomato paste. I'm going to be making my chili. So stay tuned. I haven't had any, um, avocado oil spray in forever. So I just went ahead and purchased some of that. I'm going to be making like some kind of a chicken parm bowl. It's like a protein bowl. I'm pretty excited about. So I needed some, um, spaghetti sauce and this stuff is amazing it really is um great ingredients let me see can we see oh yeah look at those ingredients are amazing so good very clean and this was like four bucks and change so i also needed some cottage cheese the good culture brand is my favorite one it's a really good clean brand don't ever if you need a rotisserie chicken for a recipe make sure you come home with two 
I came home with one because I needed it for a recipe and Andy was like, oh God, that smells so good. I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat that. And I was like, oh, I have plans for it already. I should have got two. I don't know what I was thinking, but I hate spending like $7 on these little tiny ones and you can go to Costco and get a $5 one that's like three times that size. I got some more mayonnaise just because I think I might need some. We're down to our last jar. Got some um, decaf coffee for Andy, like the big box. And then the smaller boxes were on sale. The, uh, this is like a seasonal one. The, what is it? Maple flavored one. I thought I would try that one. I really loved the pumpkin spice one that I got a couple of weeks ago. And then I just got the Cinemania. These were like $6.99 for this package. So we're good on coffee for a little bit. The pepperonis were buy one, get one free of this brand. So I went ahead and picked those up. I got a lot of BOGO deals because, you know, it's just good to, it, it kind of helps, you know, you're getting extra, so to speak. I got some strawberries because I'm, wanting to put these, I'm gonna clean them off, put them in the freezer, and make my strawberry equip protein shake with it. I love that, that's my favorite one, I think, besides the iced coffee one, I just tried that one the other day, you saw. But I really love this, and if you use the strawberries as your frozen, it's just so good, it's so good, if you don't mind the, you know, the berry part of it. Um, I got some um, stevia drops. This is the English toffee one and the vanilla one. Um, the cabbage cheese was buy one, get one free. I went ahead and got the, I needed a white cheddar for the uh, carnivore mac and cheese. And then I thought I would try this one, habanero. That sounds really delicious. Got a block of Parmesan cheese so I can grate that myself in my food processor and have that readily available. And then I thought I would try the Hebrew National. These are all natural. Um, hot dogs. I really like the other ones that I get. Uh, Applegate, I think they are. They're so clean and they're made with grass-fed beef and that's all good. But these were buy one, get one free. And sometimes you really just got to do the best that you can do. But if you look, the ingredients are really clean in here. There's no sugar and, you know, they got the natural flavorings. But the last thing on the list, everything else is mostly just like seasoning. So I'm okay with that. Um, so I'm excited. I got those because I like to cut up the hot dogs in my chili and it kind of resembles it just kind of takes the place of beans so I don't know if you like beans in your chili then that might be something that you like but I really like that so now I have two I'll stick one in the freezer and then I also got a white onion and some green pepper for my chili also so heading over here Ralphie definitely got his bones he's already got one that's why he's not over here bugging me because he already got a bone and then we got him some more dog food got some windex wipes i think we're just gonna this is more for the rv because i don't want to have like i want to have as little as possible in there and this will take up way less space and it'll just be good for like any mirrors that are in there and there's not that many so that should last us for a while i needed some gloves some paper plates things like this are not that exciting right i got some more zevia garbage bags and then the bubbly was not on sale so I just got Andy one of each of his favorites and then I love the I love this peach Perrier it was really good and I think there's another two dollar off on um, Ibotta and then I got just some stuff for the RV so we're going to be using our Swiffer I'm not a big fan of it but in such a small space I think that's going to work out perfectly and we needed some more of the cleaning solution and the little um, mop refills I guess you could say um but the Swiffer will like fold into itself and it'll just take up so little room I think that'll be a great um option and then we just needed some more wipes and toilet bowl cleaner um and then oh let me go and show you the steaks that I got from Winn-Dixie all right and last but not least the air fryer is running because like I said I should have got two of the rotisserie chickens but we are cooking up some of the ribeyes. So this is a four pack usually, but check this out. Every once in a while they do these deals at Winn-Dixie where you can get the T-bones and the ribeyes in a family pack for $6.99 a pound. What? That's a pretty good deal. So I got him a couple of the T-bones and then there's like four ribeyes here. So he's having that tonight. 
And then this is something that we've recently got in the last, you know, couple of months. Never tried it before, but it's the pork shoulder blade steak. And there's two in this package and they're almost always buy one, get one free. So we got four steaks for $7.96 or, you know, whichever the most expensive was, you know how they do that, um, eight bucks. So yeah, so that is everything that we got this week. I think we're stocked up. I've got a few things planned this week that I'm gonna make. So I'm excited to share that with you guys too. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because I think this weekend we're also gonna be filming a um, January video, what we plan on doing for January. And you might be surprised and you might not be surprised. Who knows? Stay tuned to find out. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.